like we are gonna be labyrinth lost because I need some time to read. I haven't touched this book since the last time I mentioned it in my TBR. We'll see how far we said not to go, don't do it. Okay, so what just happened first chapter of the book is the girl, Alejandra, was very curious and went downstairs while the witches were doing a canto or doing a ceremony because somebody passed away. She broke it and the dead body like crawled on top of her. My first reaction was to make a disgusting face. It's so disgusting. But also her mother warned her. Her mother said, her parents said, stay inside your room. What did she do? She went out of her bed. She's probably cursed for all eternity now. It'll be all her fault. Probably something is gonna happen in the future. She crossed the line of the dead people. are so cute. I want to draw them so bad. So there's three little sisters. Um, eldest, middle child, and the youngest child. Um, we are given like a very vague description of what they look like, but I want to draw them so bad. <laughs> they just sound so cute um, interacting with each other. Let's take a little break. I'm on chapter 7 of the book and I don't know, I don't really, I'm not really liking how the characters have been introduced because they're kind of explaining who they are instead of, um, instead of us seeing, you know, like this whole show don't tell kind of thing. It's kind of bothersome because the way that the characters introduce themselves makes it so weird. I just wish it was a little bit better because it's so weird to be like, oh, I'm so and so and these are my powers and my family's warned me, whatever. There's this boy, very suspicious of this boy because he randomly shows up twice interact with one of the girls, it interacts with Alejandra. I don't trust him 
is telling her that she can cancel her death day celebration which is kind of like a ceremony i guess to lock in their powers telling her that she can cancel her death day but doesn't really tell her how and then he's also like a weird flirtatious type it just might be the character or just the way that he's introduced but i'm excited to see where it's gonna be taken seven chapters in but so far i'm liking it i just wish that the character introductions weren't so much like i'm this and this and this but other than that i'm really like what i will say is i do like and don't like that it's written from a young perspective it shows a lot in her character alejandra's character that she's really immature and insecure about a lot of things and i'm interested to see if it's gonna be a different story arc later on or if she's gonna develop into something else so i'm guess i'm gonna have to keep reading to find out that's all i have on the reading vlog today let me know if i should do more in the future but i will see you in the next video and until then bye